According to the Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis, KIPRA, the COVID-19 pandemic resulted into game-changing advances within the ICT sector and innovation in Kenya. As a result of this, and the need to keep up for sustainability purposes, digitization becomes a key priority, which is in line with Kenya's Vision 2030 that seeks to pursue technological transformations. The University of Nairobi has been on a pathway of digitalization. We began on the issue of talking about the financial reform, the data reform, and, the, and the people reform. The university has been on this saying, we want to do digitalization, we want to do digitalization. But uh, I think the COVID-19 pandemic really helped to accelerate and uh, galvanize the university community that this is the only way to go, to digitalize. This agenda is continually being pushed for here at the University of Nairobi. In order to revolutionize healthcare, the University Health Services, UHS, has launched a digital health system in partnership with the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of ICT. To the University of Nairobi, this is a big step, big one. Because you know, the University Health Service takes care of all our students, close to 45,000 students. It takes care of all the staff and their dependents. The dynamics of these numbers, there are students who are graduating at any one time, there are students being admitted in the dependence, there are people who are maturing beyond the dependent age, there are others being born. If you have to manage this using file system, uh, then it's, it's next to impossible. The University of Nairobi being a center of excellence and being that it has that aspect of research and training, really gave us a very good platform to be able to roll out the system because we have the technical skills that here, they had already deployed the system, that is the infrastructure, the software and the hardware. To ensure the success of this system, the UHS has put in place clear, actionable steps to be taken. These ultimately paint the future of healthcare provision for the university community, which includes students, staff, and their dependents. The system has been made in such a point that within the local facilities we have a local server. So loss of internet does not mean that the patient that was already logged onto the system will be lost, but they'll be able to be served through the system all through through to the end. So for deployment there are a number of factors we're looking at. Other than the grid power which is available and for this we have to really recommend the government that enable a ministry being the Ministry of Water, the Ministry responsible for roads and the Ministry responsible for power has ensured that for deployment of this digital health platform to our health system will ensure that all these enablers have already landed in the particular facilities before we roll out. This one we access it immediately. We were here to launch it. Yeah. The other thing we will put in the course of the next few days is a biometric system. That when you come, instead of being asked, bring your ID, do this, you just put your finger and, and, and after that they, they, you go to the next step very quickly. You are taking your temperature and all other vital parameters. And if they are at range where you require emergency attention, you are jumped in the queue immediately, rather than just waiting. The system, after the, the temperature is put, the heartbeat is put, and all other things, the, the system just jumps you the queue immediately, and you are attended to, and a decision is made whether it's referral or you are attended here. In the words of Simeon Preston, the biggest part of our digital transformation is changing the way we think. This milestone sets the pace for the operational efficiency at the UHS and is definitely worth the celebration. Yeah, it is, yes, indeed, a very big day today. Thank you. Yeah, as you can see, this is the Giva Jig. Let's all join now in the Jig now. Let's all join the Jig. Let's celebrate a celebration time now today. There's always some food for us.